I don't kiss men, but I kissed him. Last night, Donald Trump held a rally in Phoenix, Arizona, and halfway through his rally, he welcomed former Maricopa County Sheriff Joe Arpaio to the stage. Joe Arpaio is an absolutely terrible human being, and I'll break down why in a second, but as Donald Trump invited him on the stage, he gave him a massive kiss on the cheek. And MAGA sycophants were not happy about this. He faced a lot of backlash. We saw a lot of amazing comments, such as, so Trump gay now, I thought he hated the gays, in response response to Republicans against Trump saying convicted felon Donald Trump after kissing convicted felon Joe Arpaio. Someone else said Trump just kissed a dude. So yeah, that's kind of gay. And I'll play the clip in just one second. But if you don't know who Joe Arpaio is, this article reads Arpaio was convicted of criminal contempt in 2017 for refusing to obey a court order that prohibited his cruel and abusive racial profiling practices, terrorizing communities of color in Arizona for years. Arpaio's racist abuse of power cost Arizona taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars in legal expenses. The wildest part is, when Donald Trump was president, he pardoned Joe Arpaio, despite knowing that Arpaio was a racist scumbag who also helped push the Obama birther conspiracy, but so did Donald Trump. Watch this clip and watch Arpaio almost break down in tears on stage, calling Donald Trump a hero. Is here? Come here, Joe. I don't kiss men, but I kissed him. But when I woke up, I told my wife, I finally found the only hero I ever had in my life. And that's him. That's him. So Listen, I think that was a completely normal kiss. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It was just a normal show of affection, but MAGA sycophants are so insecure about their masculinity that they call a simple, small kiss gay or act like that somehow tears down Donald Trump's masculinity when that's not the case whatsoever. But what does tear down Donald Trump's masculinity is having no spine when standing next to someone who is an absolute garbage, racist human being. But I guess those words apply to Donald Trump as well. I mean, Joe Arpaio became incredibly popular on the national stage of politics in America after he tried to mainstream this birther conspiracy about President Obama. Watch this clip. I believe phony that President Obama's birth certificate is a phony. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. We have the evidence. I'm not going to go into all the you details. You know, even Donald Trump yeah, now says that he, he believes that the president was born in this country, right? He never said about a fake birth certificate. That's the only thing I was trying to prove. Nothing instills more faith in someone than them saying that they can't even show you their sources despite making massive claims which require a massive amount of evidence. Joe Arpaio for years said he had the proof that Barack Obama was not born in the U.S. but failed to ever provide that proof and always said, oh, I'm not going to get into it. I don't want to get into it. Sheriff Joe Arpaio, still a birther, says five-year investigation proves Barack Obama birth certificate is fake. So Joe Arpaio spent five years investigating this, then claimed he had the silver bullet evidence, but failed to ever present it to the public. Totally, totally trustworthy, just like Mike Lindell or Rudy Giuliani saying they have the evidence of election fraud, but they just won't show it to the courts. But this article reads... Convicted felon gives big kiss to disgraced former sheriff he pardoned. Donald Trump held a rally at the Dream City Church in Phoenix, Arizona on Thursday. In a surprise that can only be described as dreadful, the newly convicted felon brought the racist former sheriff of Maricopa County, Joe Arpaio, up on stage. I don't kiss men, but I kissed him, Trump told the audience before launching into praise of the disgraced former sheriff. People said he was too tough, Trump said. Now they're saying, where's Sheriff Joe? You know, he's 177 years old, but we want him back. Obviously a joke. 
It wasn't just people who said Arpaio was too tough, it was the judicial system. Arpaio was convicted of criminal contempt in 2017 for refusing to obey a court order that prohibited his cruel and abusive racial profiling practices, terrorizing communities of color in Arizona. Arpaio was sentenced to jail, but Trump pardoned him. It was the first of many ill-advised pardons for the twice-impeached Trump. At the time, Arpaio seemed to be unaware that by accepting Trump's pardon, he was also admitting guilt. Arpaio subsequently tried and failed to have his conviction expunged. At the rally, Trump offered the mic to Arpaio, who started with a classic racist joke. I want to see your birth certificate, he said. Now, this 2017 article from the ACLU was written right before Arpaio was pardoned, but it still provides some of the best arguments on the internet for why Arpaio is a racist and a terrible human being. Arpaio was recently convicted of criminal contempt after he deliberately violated an earlier court ruling that ordered his department to end its practice of illegally detaining people based on only on suspicions about their immigration status. That ruling came in a successful case brought by Latino residents to challenge Arpaio's racial profiling policies. His conviction came after years of implementing discriminatory policies, flouting the law, and violating the civil rights of the people he was elected to serve. The ACLU was one of the groups that brought the lawsuit against him. Number one, racially profiling Latino communities. In traffic stops, workplace raids, and neighborhood sweeps, Arpaio ordered deputies to target residents solely based on their ethnicity, often detaining people without reasonable suspicion that they were violating any laws that his office was allowed to enforce. Number two, failing survivors of sexual abuse. The people of Maricopa County paid the price for Arpaio's pursuit of illegal immigration enforcement policies, suffering damage to community safety. In 2011, the Associated Press found that Arpaio's office ignored hundreds of sex crime cases, including cases of alleged child abuse. One officer told the AP that many of those cases involved the children of undocumented immigrants. Number three, creating brutal jail conditions for detainees. Arpaio is best known for establishing Tent City, a sprawling outdoor detention center which he once positively compared to a concentration camp. Temperatures in Tent City, which is surrounded by an electrocuted fence, could reach up to 141 degrees. One, ta one detainee said life in Tent City felt like you are in a furnace. People held there were primarily Latinos. He called it, quote, the tent where all Mexicans are, end quote, and were put into chain gangs and subjected to to humiliating practices like public parades. Number four, undermining the health of detainees. People in Arpaio's jails were subject to substandard health care, sometimes to the point of extreme suffering, even death. The ACLU challenged Arpaio over his failure to meet the health needs of the people in his jails and won in court when a federal judge agreed that the deficient and dangerous health care system violated detainees' constitutional right to adequate care. Detainees with mental illnesses were especially victims in Arpaio's jail. Number five, abusing public office. Arpaio was known to intimidate supposed enemies, including a judge's spouse, a political rival, a county official, and a reporter. The Justice Department also found that his office, quote, engaged in a pattern or practice of retaliating against individuals for exercising their First Amendment right to free speech, as deputies tried to silence individuals who have publicly spoken out and, and participated in protected demonstrations against Arpaio. So these are the types of people that Donald Trump pardons. These are the types of people that Donald Trump wants to have power and wants to be walking free. This is an incredibly racist and terrible human being who showed an utter lack of care for the lives of other human beings simply because their skin was a different color. Joe Arpaio completely tortured a bunch of Latinos just because they immigrated here and he didn't agree with it. My name is Adam Mockler. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment a blue heart, hit the subscribe button and have a great day.